Hey guys, welcome. Thank you very much for joining me in this initial public offering. This is actually an IPO that will be fine. In my opinion, it will be fine. There won't be a problem. The date that it shows as a pre-order will go through exactly as it says. Everything fine. All right, so let's talk about GeneLux. So GeneLux finalizes for a $16 million initial public offering. This company is developing drug treatments for ovarian and other cancers. The ticket symbol for this IPO is GNLX, and it has produced positive phase two trial results for its lead candidate. So that's actually awesome, right? Positive phase two trials headed for phase three. It is based in Westlake, California, and like I say, it was created to develop treatments for various aggressive or difficult to treat solid tumor cancers. The company is headed by President and CEO Thomas Zendrick, who has been with the company since May of 2014. He was previously the CEO of Amitech Therapeutic Solutions, and he also had positions such as Vice President at Associate General Counsel at Ambien. So Mr. Thomas is very well experienced, got a great background. The company's lead candidate is Ovivec, which will begin Phase 3 trials. The company's lead candidate is Ovivec and has already been in the beginning phase three trials, planning for a phase for the treatment of for uh, platinum resistant refractory ovarian cancer and has already met preliminary endpoints for its phase two trials for the disease and they were all positive. Now, before I continue any further, Moomoo is the proud sponsor of this video. They are a trading app that you can use to trade all the US stocks, exchange traded funds, commission free, plus Check this out, the entire Hong Kong Stock Exchange. Let me tell you something before I get to the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. If you use my link in the comment section below, click on it, sign up, deposit a hundred bucks, just a hundred bucks to start trading a moment you get five free stocks. But what about that Hong Kong Stock Exchange I mentioned? Well, for example, on October 6th, coming up, the largest EV battery maker in the world, the company that's building EV batteries for the likes of Xpeng, Neo, Toyota, even Tesla, BYD, uh, who else? Hyundai. We're talking about CALB, CALB. This is the largest EV battery maker in the world. And they're going public on October 6 on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange, pricing their IPO at five US dollars per share. And you can only take part in this IPO through the Moomoo trading app. And if you're in Australia, congratulations, because Moomoo is now uh, available in Australia. It, you know, so this is a big move. And you can use my Australian link in the comment section below. Uh, here you, we can see the pipeline for the for the IPO. As we can see, they're already planning and getting into phase three. So the company is going public on October 14th. It's going to be at around six dollars and fifty cents. You can pre-order already. Tickets in with GNLX, and they're offering 2.5 million shares. Approximately 7.7 .7 million dollars of the funds from the IPO will be used for the development of their lead candidate, and the remaining one million bucks for accounts uh, outstanding accounts payable and so on. The lead underwriter for this IPO is the Benchmark Company. Valuation score, I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5. They are going into Phase 3. That is a positive thing, but that doesn't guarantee FDA approval. I will stay neutral. Benchmark Capital, okay, not the greatest IPO, not the greatest underwriters, not the worst either. 650 a share, 2.5 million shares, no warrants. I guess it's not bad. It might not be bad at all, but me personally speaking, I won't take part as a pre-order, I won't, although I might regret it because I think it might pop, but that's okay. I can. I will definitely trade this IPO uh, in the coming days after it, after it starts trading and uh, I'll be fine. I, I, I think I can, uh, <laughs> I'll do well. I'll pick on a, on a dip, let's say, and uh, write it upwards. Now my valuation score is just for entertainment purposes. My opinion shouldn't matter at all in any way, shape or form. I'm not a professional financial advisor nor am I here to tell you what to do with your money. Thank you very much for watching this video and I wish you all the best. Take care.